ChatGPT. You hear about ChatGPT and other AI-related products all the time these days, and the hype is off the charts. Let's step back for a moment and take a look at what we actually have here. GPT-3 and ChatGPT are both language models that were developed by OpenAI, an AI research institute in the United States. ChatGPT is the more conversational of the two products, whereas GPT-3 is a more general-purpose natural language processor. GPT-3 also has access to a larger data set. GPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. Both were trained on a neural network. Essentially, the AIs are fed huge amounts of textual content from the internet, and the algorithms are such that it learns how language works, what constitutes proper sentence structure, and so on. When you engage with these products, they certainly can give the impression that they are thinking and reasoning. And that's true, but only to a point. And that's something that may change in the future, for good or ill. The AI might be thought of as someone who has spent their entire life isolated from the rest of the world, only reading books. This person's knowledge would be vast, but it would not be linked to any actual subjective experiences in the real world, encounters which enable people to connect information with meaning, resulting in a comprehension of reality, which GPT-3 does not have. While it may not comprehend what words mean, its algorithms know how to fit them together into some form of coherent order. It may know, for instance, that a cat is an animal, and has fur and claws, but these are just words that it connects from its vast database. There is no real knowledge of a cat. Now will GPT-5 or GPT-10 or something else have this missing comprehension? Maybe. Then it would be much closer to a general AI, which seems to be the holy grail for this sort of research. As it stands, GPT-3 and ChatGPT can do impressive things, like write poems, summarize documents, carry on a conversation, and so on. Some publications are already using these or other AIs to create articles on some subjects. There is an interesting search engine at perplexity.ai, linked below, that gives summarized results from multiple sources using AI. As this is being recorded, Microsoft seems to be poised to release an AI-boosted version of their Bing search engine. However, AIs like GPT-3 can also make factual mistakes, exhibit unpleasant racial or religious biases, and do silly things that even a small child would not do. The question of bias in particular raises concerns about how the training should or could be changed to minimize or eliminate that sort of thing. All that being said, when you see some of the videos going around where ChatGPT is accepting vocal input from an interviewer, and then the output is put through a text-to-speech system, it really seems like they are speaking with another person. Even more impressive, if the AI output is handled by a digital avatar, the illusion can be quite remarkable. Some links below for that too. These are early pioneering days yet, like those of Edison and the Wright brothers. It's hard to conceive of what we'll be dealing with in five or ten more years. Thank you for watching.